Hello everyone, Raza here. In this video, I will show you how to enter into a conversation first experience with Copilot to build flows in Power Automate. The conversational first experience extends our ability to ask Copilot in natural language to create our automation. Think about this as ChatGPT, where our Copilot will work with us to create a flow based on a use case or a scenario that we define. Let's check it out in action. On the Power Automate homepage, we have the Copilot experience. This is where we can describe in detail how we want our automation to work. One of the newest experiences that we have is to have a conversationally driven experience for creating our workflow by chatting with Copilot. I'll select chat with Copilot about my idea. This is where I can describe my use case scenario with Copilot in natural language to build my workflow. Let's put this to the test with a use case. I have a list in SharePoint where users can enter leave requests. And the flow automation that I would like to build is when a new leave request is initiated, an approval task should be generated for the requester's manager. And upon approval, I would like to update the status of the leave request. So let's try and describe this to Copilot. I need a leave request approval workflow. Copilot responds with, could you please provide more details about when you want the approval process to be initiated? Start the workflow when a new leave request is created in my SharePoint list. Copilot provides the outline of what this workflow would potentially look like. Flow starts when an item is created and then starts an approval process. Prior to the approval process, I would like to update the status of my item to pending. Copilot updates the actions and includes an update item action prior to the approval process. The approval should be assigned to the requesting users manager. The action is added. Check the outcome of the approval and send a notification email to the requesting user informing them about the approval decision. Copilot makes the updates. Now if the updates are not in line, you can ask Copilot to go ahead and make changes or maybe undo the action. Also update the status of the item based upon the approval decision. My updates have been made. I'll click next. Copilot will sign me into the connectors that this flow would be leveraging. So these are all the connections. I'll click create. And the workflow has been orchestrated for me through a conversationally driven experience with Copilot. I still have work to do at this point to go and configure my flow, but Copilot has done 80% of the work for me. For the trigger action, I need to provide the URL of my SharePoint site and connect to my SharePoint list. So the flow triggers when a new item is created in my leave request list. Then comes the update item action. Once again, connect to my SharePoint site and SharePoint list. Advanced parameters, I'll click show all. Status is what I want to change at this point to pending prior to starting the approval process. Status is a choice column. So I'll go ahead and pick status pending. Get manager. Copilot plugged in this expression wherein it's trying to get the requesting user Copilot generated content can make mistakes. 
in my SharePoint list, there is no requesting user column. So I'll remove this. And here I'll pick the created by users email address dynamic content from my trigger action. Whoever created the item, go and get their manager details from Active Directory. Then start and wait for an approval action. The approval type, it didn't enter it correctly. I'll remove this and pick first to respond. Title for my approval. I'll say leave request for. I'll put the created by users display name. The approval task will be assigned to the requester's manager. I'll get their email information from the mail dynamic content property. Here I can plug in details about the approval. I'll plug in the title of the request. These dynamic content values are based upon the columns that I defined in my SharePoint list. Can also add a link to the item. Item link description, I'll put the title. Notice at the bottom, there are some additional properties. These were generated by Copilot. I do not require these, so I will remove these parameters. That completes my start and wait for an approval action. Next, I have a condition. Here, I would like to check the outcome of the approval. If it is approved, then it goes on the true branch. Send an email, sending it to the requester. Requester will be the created by user's email address. I'll state your leave request has been approved. And in the body, I'll put the details of the leave request that the user entered. I can also plug in the comments that the approver puts in in the approval action. Now, when I pick comments, it will add a for each loop. That's because the approval task can go to multiple users. In my case, it's just one user, the user's manager. So this loop will only run once. Some parameters are set by Copilot. I'll remove that. That completes my email action. Then I would want to update the status of the item. I'll connect to my SharePoint list and change the status to approved. That completes the left branch. I would like to repeat similar steps on the right hand side. Now this condition here on the right within the false branch, I'm simply going to delete this. On the left hand side for each, I'll copy, paste it here. The only thing I'll change here is the subject. I'll say rejected. And then the update item action. I'll copy and paste it in the false branch. Here, I'll want the status to be rejected. That completes my flow. I'll click save. My flow is saved and ready to go. You can also rename the flow. Let's test it out. I'll add a new item. I'll put in my leave request. The status is set to new. The status has changed to pending. This is done within the flow once the flow triggers. Here is the running instance of the flow. The flow grabs my manager from Active Directory and sends them an approval request. My manager in Active Directory is Sarah. Sarah receives the approval request with all the details and take the approval decision, plugs in her commands, submits her response. The approval task completed within the email itself. The status of the item in SharePoint updated to approved and the requester, which is Reza, will receive an email that their leave request has been approved. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much.
for watching.